everybody and welcome back to Tales of Wanderlust. I'm Cass, this is Jasper, Napoleon is hiding in the bed over in the corner, and today we're going to go through the different ways to receive packages on the road. If you saw last week's video, I go through how to pick up an Amazon package from a locker, but Amazon doesn't sell everything and sometimes you need to get other packages as well. So there's a lot of different ways you can get them on the road. If you're interested in that, stay tuned. today's video we're gonna do a little bit of computer work because we need to research and figure out where we are going to get Jasper's dog bed shipped into. So to give you an idea there are six ways to get items shipped to you on the road. One of them is an Amazon locker which last week's video went through that one in a little bit more detail. It is the most common one I use. The second most common one I use is using some sort of mail service. A lot of towns have a mail center where they receive packages, help people ship packages out, and a lot of times if you call them, they will receive packages for you and hold it for a certain period of time. There's usually a fee associated with it, so I usually pay about 5 or $10. The third way of received packages is by either going to UPS or FedEx. You need to know that the package is coming via UPS or FedEx, and then you can have it routed to the nearest store. The problem with the dog bed we're going to order today is it's coming off Amazon, so I don't know who is going to be shipping it, whether it's Amazon, UPS, post office, FedEx, etc. Sometimes if you're ordering off another kind of store, I have asked them in their customer service chat, how do you ship your packages so that I can offer them a different address. So you can definitely ask around and that is an option. The fourth way I've received packages on the road is having it shipped to an RV park. I don't stay in RV parks very often, so I can't use that. I'm usually also not there for a very long period of time, but I did stay in one RV park in Uray, Colorado for about a week, and it was really easy to just get packages shipped to the main office. They call you when it arrives, and then you just walk in, pick it up, and go. So that was really easy and convenient. And the fifth way of received packages is by general delivery at the post office. For example, in Durango, Colorado, I was extremely surprised how easy it was to get items shipped to general delivery. It was actually the easiest post office I've ever worked with. That was the time I was picking up backpacking and I actually had all of my REI gear shipped to general delivery. The lady there actually started to know me. I had that many packages shipped there. So it really depends on the town, how easy it is, and what is available. And final way is to have it shipped to a friend or family's house. So if you know the general direction you're going, or if you're gonna be visiting some friends or families down the road, then you can ship your packages there, they'll hold them, and you just pick them up. Right now my boyfriend has about six packages of mine just sitting there. If I have something I don't immediately need, I just ship it to his house and I know I'll get it eventually. So there are a lot of different ways that you can get packages on the road. Which one you use is really gonna come down to where you are and what is available. So today we're gonna be ordering a dog bed for Jasper. I don't know who it's going to be shipping with, so I'm going to try to find either a mail service or general delivery that will accept packages from anybody. I'm also here in Sedona, Arizona right now, and it's a small town, which means your options are limited. So we're gonna jump into the computer now. We're gonna start searching here in Sedona and see where we can get this dog bed shipped. To start out, I'm gonna go back on Amazon and make sure that the dog bed is still available. I tried doing this about a week ago, and of course the dog bed was not available at that point. The internet here is pretty slow, so this could take a little while. Awesome. The dog bed is still available, and it's $20 cheaper than it used to be. Sometimes you luck out. Free delivery is on March 18th. The fastest delivery is Sunday. I'm only planning on being here until Thursday, and then I'm leaving Sedona on Thursday to drive up through Flagstaff and head over to Gallup, New Mexico. So the problem with a Thursday delivery, since I'm leaving Thursday, you never know what time of day it will arrive. I usually leave right after work, which is about three o'clock and there's no guarantee that it's gonna be in by Thursday at three. So I'm gonna add it to the cart, but I might need to pay for faster shipping on this one just to make sure I get it in time. 
Next, I'm just going to Google mail service near Sedona, Arizona and see what comes up. So looking at the map, there's Cottonwood. I'm on Route 89. So I want to look at some of these results that have come up on 89 on the way into Sedona. The internet is really slow. So here in Sedona, we have some Amazon lockers, which unfortunately the dog bed has about a four foot long metal pole in it. It's got two of them actually. So it can't fit in a locker. There is a UPS store, but it has terrible reviews. So I think that's going to be my backup option. And then it has a nationwide pack and ship. I'm not really sure if they receive packages. The reviews only talk about shipping packages. And then there are post offices, which would be general delivery. I'm going to start with the nationwide pack and ship because it has really good reviews and I like using the local businesses if possible. So we're going to start and see if they accept packages. I need to get something shipped into Sedona area and I'm just visiting. Is that something you guys receive? $10 per package. Okay, that's fine. Just ship it to the 2675AZ-89A. Perfect. I will put my phone number in there then. Thank you so much. So now what I'm going to do is go into my Amazon shopping cart, update my shipping address, and then let's see how long it's going to take to actually get in here and see if I need to pay for that expedited shipping. On the call, I asked to verify the address that was on the Google search, and he did mention there was another way to write it. So right here on their own web page is the way he was suggesting. So I'm just going to copy that and put it into the street address. That way I know it's going to go to the right place. And then I do need to put a care of, which on a package is C-O, and then I put their company name. That way, whoever's going to deliver it knows that it's going to this nationwide pack and ship place. On Amazon, down when you're adding a new address, there is a weekend delivery option. So I am going to check and see what their hours are. They are closed on Sunday and then they're only open for two hours on Saturday. So I'm actually going to say that they can't receive packages on Saturday or Sunday. That way things get delivered properly and when they're open, hopefully. So I have the address off the website. I have the care of nationwide pack and ship. And I also have my phone number, which he said, if it's on the package, they'll give me a call when it arrives. So everything on there looks good. After I put in the new shipping address, the delivery options updated. So Monday is the fastest delivery and it's the free prime delivery, which is perfect because that gives me Tuesday and Wednesday to pick up the package. So plenty of time before I leave here on Thursday. Now I'm just going to click place my order and send it on through. And then hopefully in a few days we have a new dog bed for Jasper. We are all packed up and heading out of our spot here in Sedona, Arizona. You can't really see the mountains from here, but our site has been really beautiful. So we're going to head into town now. We're heading north towards Colorado to go do some skiing and we are going to pick up our package as we pass through the town of Sedona. towns are always interesting when you try to find parking so we are in a Thai restaurant parking lot and I'm gonna run over get the package so we can get out of the way pretty quickly here all right we've got it so it was a $10 pickup fee in order to pick up the package which is one of the higher fees I've paid but 10 bucks still isn't too terrible when I only do this every once in a while so we've got the dog bed I am gonna put it because it is a pretty big box I'm gonna put it up in the carrier and now we're gonna hit the road and head on north. So we're gonna be doing, as I drop my mask, we're gonna be doing some cracker barrel hopping uh, for the next couple of nights. So I think all three of us, we're looking forward to some fried chicken from Cracker Barrel. So if you have any questions on how to get packages from a mail service, comment below and I'll go ahead and answer them. Otherwise, we will see you all next time. Have a good one, everybody.